Hi, hello, welcome. If you're new here or welcome back, either way, hi. Um, I do not own this fanfiction, nor do I own the beautiful fan of this is video. Happy New Year's, and hopefully you enjoy it. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. You thought to yourself as you slipped out of your room past curfew. No, I'm doing this. No one will even know. Plus, I'm starving. You try to comfort yourself as you continue down the halls with your stomach aching for food. If only you did not sleep in late, then have to clean during breakfast, then piss Levi off and then up running laps for dinner, your growling stomach would be full. After bumping into a few walls in the dark hallways, you finally made it to the kitchen. Ugh, stupid Levi. You groaned as your stomach continued to growl. You slung the door open and headed straight for the first cabinet in sight. You yanked the cabinet door open and only to find nothing. Damn, you said as you searched for something to eat. You guessed that you were being louder than you thought because you heard footsteps. Ellen, what the hell are you doing? A deep voice questioned from behind you. You whipped around to see the person you really did not want to see right in front of you. Crap! You whispered. I'm not doing anything, sir. You replied, pretending that the kitchen was not a huge mess. This was not me. It was Jean Kirstein's fault, sir. I heard a loud noise, so I went to check it out and found him running away from the kitchen with a loaf of bread. Do you think I'm an idiot? He said, not buying any of your excuses. Well, actually, yeah. You murdered under your breath. What did you say, brat? He lowered his voice as he gripped your collar. Nothing, sir. You flinched as you started to feel lightheaded. My office, now. Levi commanded in an intimidating voice as he shoved you out of the kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> You stumbled down the hall, making your way to the corporal's office, a place you knew too well. Let's just say you weren't on Levi's good side. Once you arrived at his office, Levi grabbed his keys from his pocket and opened the door. You followed the stoic man into his spotless office. A light layer of sweat granced your skin as you saw him sit at his desk. Why am I so nervous? I do this all the time. Am I sweating? Sit, he instructed with a stern expression. All of a sudden, your legs felt wobbly and your eyesight became hazy. Ellen, do as I say, Levi demanded. I, I can't. Your face lost all color as your small frame abruptly dropped to the ground. By now, the corporal was used to all your pranks. Get your ass up, Ellen. You can't avoid your punishment. He thought you were messing with him. Seriously, you're starting to piss me off. Get up. Levi got up from his chair and strode over to you. He crouched down to your form that was lying unconsciously on the floor. Shit. The corporal shook your shoulders. Ryan, are you okay? He asked tensely. You were still breathing and your blood flow was soon restored, but you were still weak. Levi grunted as he picked up your body and took you to his room. He laid you down on his bed and went to the bathroom and came back with a damp cloth. Your eyes fluttered open to see Levi leaning over you, pressing his hand to your forehead. C corporal You stuttered in a shaky voice. Oh, Juan, you are awake. Levi acknowledged your comment constantly. You blinked at him. Why is he helping me? I could have sworn I just saw him smile. Did he just use my first name? A million questions raced through your head at your superior's kind gestures. What happened? You asked, still dazed. You fainted due to low blood sugar. He concluded, you, you glared the man above you and pushed him away. You sat up and began to get off of his bed. Wine laid back down, you aren't well enough to. Levi's voice was cut off by yours. This was all your fault, you shouted at him. If you never made me clean during breakfast, run laps during dinner, and stopped me from getting something from the kitchen, none of this would have happened. You lashed out of 
frustration on him, not caring that you were yelling at your superior. You always punish me, and sometimes I don't do anything wrong. It's always clean this, do that, run laps. Ugh. God, why do you hate me so much? You asked with a saddened tone. His dark, cold eyes widened as your sudden change of mood, and his heart clenched as your, at your words. What? He was confused. Hate you? Well, yeah, don't you? You questioned, already knowing his answer. No, actually. His unexpected reply shocked you. You always thought Levi was a cold-hearted jerk who punished Cadets for personal enjoyment. You turned to see him with his head lowered. Oh, um, Corporal, I apologize. I didn't mean to say all of those things. You sat back down on the edge of the bed. You wouldn't have said them if you didn't mean it, brat. Levi said with a slight smile. Listen, the only reason I'm so hard on you is because I want you to be strong, to stay alive. I care about you, Ryan. Uh, I, um, cor corp. You were so confused and didn't know what to say. You felt Levi's warm hand embrace yours. Your eyes started over your superior's softened face. His other hand caressed your cheek lightly. You blinked at his actions. What the hell is happening? Is this a dream? Uh, sir, I, I... Your cheeks heated up as his face inched closer. Levi planted a kiss on your lips. His strong arms wrapped delicately around your waist as if you were the most fragile thing he has ever held. You didn't intend to kiss back, but your lips were captivated by his. He soon broke away and rested his forehead on yours. You knew this was wrong, yet you didn't want to leave him. Ryan, I love you. Levi whispered in your ear. Your arms impulsively hugged his neck as if you had no control over your own body. What am I doing? I love you too, sir. He chuckled softly at your formality and your heart fluttered with a warmth you had never felt before. Just call me Levi. He smiled lightly at you. Okay then, Levi. You responded with a cute-eyed smile. The man took your hand in his and pulled out of his room. Finally, time for food, you thought to yourself as you followed Levi to the kitchen. Hi, hello again. A uh, quick thing. I'm going, st going to start reading uh, from new fandoms like this one, Attack on Titan, Demon Slayer, Naruto, uh, and other ones. Anyways, uh... Like I said in the beginning of this video, I do not own this fanfiction, nor do I own the beautiful fan I use in this video. Uh, with that being said, goodbye! <laughs>